What is going on everyone? Anthony Drew Gary here, host of the How To Show, where we talk about optimizing life, money, and happiness one how-to at a time. If you've been paying attention to the news in the world, the only thing going up faster than gas prices seems to be mortgage interest rates. So we're going to spend some time this week breaking down what goes into to why your mortgage is going up and what you can do about it. So we're going to spend some time with Google getting the nuts and the bolts of uh, where rates are right now. And then we'll switch back and just talk about uh, what we can do about it. Behind the scenes, Google has been building in some additional home pages based on certain search metrics. And so average mortgage rate is one of those where if you type that in and you hit the search button in Google, it'll bring you up a mortgage calculator, basically right to the Google page so that you can do some, uh, some rough back of the napkin math here. And what I want to bring attention to is that for the average rates for April 8th, which is just a couple of days ago, the 30 year fixed number is 6.5% now based on a credit score of 700. And we'll get to that in a minute, but 6.5% is nearly double what it was just a handful of months ago, if at the minimum a year ago. So interest rates are creeping up at, at a clip that uh, is quite frankly astonishing and uh, maybe a little scary if you're trying to buy a house right now. And so wanted to draw some attention to this this week. And what we're going to do now is talk about one of the major contributors to your rate, and that is your credit score. So they start out by, by estimating this, and we're at a $200,000 loan with 20% down in Indiana, which is all fine, but they're estimating a credit score of 700. And so there are good things and bad things about this is that that's about the middle of the road. And so we're going to show some examples in both directions. We will let's let's assume for a minute you've got fantastic credit. That six and a half percent can go all the way down to 5.56 on average. And so some will be higher, some will be lower, but but basically you can get yourself a, a free percent interest rate reduction just by having superior credit. Unfortunately, the alternate is true as well. So let's go all the way to the bottom of this and we'll type in 580 and something really fascinating happens here. It's going to tell you data not available because there, frankly, is an interest rate uh, available for those folks, but it is sparse because not everyone is getting approved for a mortgage at that credit score. And so really, this starts to, to take hold. Once you get to 600, it's still the same thing. Get yourself to 620 and you start to get data and 6.5% becomes 6.712. And this is sort of startling information that you could be paying upwards of uh, almost 7% mortgage interest right now on a 30 year fixed. And so practically, what does that mean for, again, we'll use the same example, $200,000 for the, the, the best situation for credit scores, your monthly payment on that, uh, that 5.56 rate is gonna be 1143. And if you're on the bad end of that spectrum and your interest rate is 6.72, your payment has gone up to 1293. The difference between those two numbers is $150 a month. And I don't know about you, but $150 in my pocket versus out of my pocket sounds like a great thing. So the first thing you can do to, to help get the best interest rate possible is to make sure that your credit is in tip top shape. And I have other videos that talk about credit. You can check those out. But uh, this is sort of a sort of a short sighted uh, recommendation here, because usually repairing your credit, making sure that you have good credit takes a, a decent amount of time. And so hopefully somebody's watching this video that's starting out in the process, uh, maybe not looking to buy right away, but can take some proactive steps to make sure that their credit is in a good spot so that you can get that best rate. So now that we know that the difference between a good credit score and a bad credit score is hundreds of dollars in your payment every month, we want to start to get competitive with the lenders themselves. And the best advice I have for this is to get in touch with a mortgage broker, which is basically the same advice that we had in the insurance episodes. You want somebody in your corner who can represent you to several different lenders at the same time to make sure they're being competitive with one another. And instead of you going from bank to bank to bank or from bank to credit union, whatever your situation might be, one by one by one, you can get a broker in your corner getting competitive opportunities brought to you without you having to do all the work. 
Highly recommend checking this out and it'll ultimately save you some time. Most likely will save you some money too. And so the next thing to think about here is basically keeping in mind the different levers that lenders can pull to, to try to make themselves appear to be the most advantageous for you. And what I'm talking about here is the mortgage interest rate, the opportunity to, to buy down your rate basically by, by paying points as they call it, and the third is the overall origination cost of the loan. And so if you ever had a, a doll as a child where if you squeezed the, the body, the, the head would pop out or, or basically one of those types of toys where the eyes would bulge out, the money has to go somewhere. The mortgage companies can't do their business and not make any money on it. So they're either gonna make it in the interest rate, the prepaid points that you can buy down the rate by spending money up front, or in the origination fees. And so just be careful and, and compare all three of those situations with the different lenders that you're looking at because just because one has the best rate, if you're gonna pay handsomely for the other items, that may not be the best situation, and in reverse is true as well. Maybe the, the folks with uh, the least uh, amount of closing costs have the highest rates, and you just wanna weigh all of your options together competitively. And the last word of caution I wanna talk about here is the sponsored ads that you're gonna see anytime you search for a mortgage. Basically, any opportunity that you have to put in information in order to spit you out an interest rate is going to cause your phone and your email to get bogged down 25 times in the first day by what I'll call loan sharks who will not leave you alone because they paid handsomely for that lead based on that website. And ultimately, that's not the type of person that I really want to work with just because they, they treat it as a, a number system. You are one of a thousand people who sends your information into that website and hopefully one or two or three of them will convert as compared to working with a mortgage broker in your area who knows the situation on the ground both with you and with the lenders at the same time. Highly recommend working with a mortgage broker. But wanted to break this episode down because interest rates are on the rise and that is a BFD. If you don't know what BFD means, stay tuned for the next episode of the show. Kidding, of course. But in all seriousness, that's gonna end this episode of the show. Hopefully you got something useful out of this that you can take away. If you are in a situation where you are looking to buy a house and you have questions about this, leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them or find you an expert that can help you. And as always, you can like the episode to let the YouTube algorithm know that this is an episode that other people should be watching as well. You can subscribe to the channel to be the first to know about new videos each and every Wednesday, most of them educational in nature, some of them reading with my daughter. That happens from time to time. If you've got any ideas for future topics on the show, leave me a comment down below. And as always, if you are looking to sell your house in the Indianapolis market before the interest rates creep up too high, you can get in touch with me, indiedwell.com or in the show notes or in the comments. Until next time, this is Anthony Drew Gary, host of The How To Show, signing off.